on our feet and us to do something before we dive in our service. Are you ready? So get up, get up, get up, get up. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to follow my words. Don't follow my actions, but follow my words. When I say head, you touch your head. Are you ready? And follow my pace. I want to see who gets it first. <laughs> Are you ready? Touch your head, ears, Yes, <laughs> you're following my actions. I said, follow my words, all right? One more time. Head, shoulders, bam bam, ears, ears, knees, toes, ears, ears, head, tongue, nose, ears. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. I hope you're ready for our service. Are you ready for the service? Now call your friends all around you. Let them know that our service has just started. Because last week, we started off with our Easter lessons. I hope you're ready. You're getting ready for Easter. Yeah! In just about um, how many days? Ah, that's right. Anyway, let's pray. Let's pray and then we engage in our worship. Let's pray together. Jesus, we welcome you in our service. May you come and have fun with us. May you come and teach us your word today. We love you and may we experience you like never before. You are welcome. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in our service. In Jesus' name we have prayed and everyone says, Amen. Come on, let's join the worship team as we celebrate Jesus. Let's go. given us when he rose up from the dead and he and he set us free from sin from death from sickness from fear are you ready to learn this song with me today are you ready so when i sing you're going to repeat after me right all right let's go god has given us victory come on
children, how are you? I'm so excited to connect with you today. It's always a joy to connect with you on Kids Connect. My name is Maggie. I'm so happy to see you. This is just a kind reminder. This is me. Devotions are still going on. You can get them at your campus or you can write to us at kidsconnect at watotochurch.com for you to access them, discuss them with your parents, read and be encouraged. So, are you happy to hear from God's word? Yes, I'm equally excited. So who remembers our lesson for last week? Anyone wants to try? Yes, I see you. Okay, brilliant. Yes, we talked about Easter. That is true. What exactly about Easter? Okay. That's true, that God loves us very much. Very good. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. God loves us so much that he sent his son Jesus Christ as the perfect sacrifice. And what that means is that Jesus died for all our sins, for all of us. We don't have to give sacrifices of chicken, goats, lambs, bulls, rams, doves, even grains now. Because Jesus paid it all. Children, did you know that for Jesus to die on the cross as the perfect sacrifice, he had to be brave? Mm-hmm. Yes, Jesus had to be brave to fulfill God's will. What does it mean to be brave? Who wants to try? Anybody? Yes, that's true. Not fearing spiders. Fair enough. Being very big and tall. Okay. Okay, being running very fast at school. Okay, that is also good. Being the class monitor. That is brilliant. Thank you very much for being the class monitor. So children, being brave means having the confidence and the courage to go through any situation because your trust is in God, that God will not leave you alone. He's going to stay with you because he loves you so much to leave you to be alone in times of trouble. Let's go back to Jesus being brave children. Children, do you remember that before Jesus died on the cross, he took some time to pray in the garden of Gethsemane? And who remembers what exactly happened in that garden? Jesus cried. Well, thank you for trying. Jesus actually prayed so hard to God and he sweated blood. Can you imagine sweating blood? Jesus sweated blood because he knew what was coming his way. And the Bible is telling us in Luke 22, uh, verse 42, that Jesus even told God that, Father, if possible, take this cup of suffering away from me. Not my will, but your will. And Jesus accepted to be the sacrifice. Jesus accepted to be brave children, to show God's love for us, for me, and for you. That is true, children. So let's talk about some of the things that Jesus went through as he was being brave to reconcile us back to God. Anybody wants to try? Anyone? Don't worry, be brave and give us your answer. That is very true. Jesus was beaten. Jesus, and it wasn't like any kind of ordinary stick children. First of all, he was being beaten for nothing. Jesus did nothing wrong, but he came so brave to take away our sins. Have you ever been beaten for something that you didn't do? Mommy spanks you, yet your little brother ate the cookies. Or because you didn't clean the house, but it wasn't your turn to clean the house. And mommy gives you five hot ones. But Jesus was given 40 canes and even more. And the most Hurting thing children, when they were beating Jesus, the stick they were using to beat him had hooks. And every time they would beat Jesus, the flesh would come off like this. And there would be a lot of blood pouring. So imagine, have you fallen down before and blood is coming out? Blood is everywhere. 
and you're crying and mommy carries you. But Jesus had no one to carry him. He had to be brave and take the canes. Imagine over 40 times or more and his flesh was peeling off and blood was splashing everywhere. Even on the soldiers. Yes, blood splashed on them. But they kept beating Jesus. And he remained brave. He didn't even touch there. Because he had to go through the pain to be able to do what God had told him for God's love to prevail. What else happened, children? You're very right, my friend. They put on him a crown of thorns. Not like your tiara that you used on your birthday. It was a real crown of thorns from the tree. Have you ever been pierced, children? An injection. And how did you feel? It was painful. So imagine getting 10 injections and they make a crown of injections and they put on your head. And every time they push it down like this, the injections are piercing in your head. That's what happened to Jesus' children. They got a crown of big thorns and they pierced in Jesus' head and the blood was flowing down Jesus' body. But Jesus did not give up children. He didn't even say, I want to go to the bathroom. No, that wasn't allowed. Jesus stayed and remained brave and the blood kept flowing. I think there were tears mixed in there because God loves us so much. He let his son to go through that and Jesus remained there very brave. That wasn't all. They were so mean. That is true. They were so mean, but God's will had to be done. First, to enjoy his love properly. Yes, they gave Jesus the cross to carry. That is true. When you read Mark 15 children, 16 to 32, you'll be able to see all these things. Who has ever carried a bag of charcoal? Anybody? How about uh, a bag of Irish potatoes? Anyone? So children, imagine the cross weighed over 100 kilograms. I don't even know. I can't even imagine. But Jesus carried the cross over a long journey. Imagine, okay, from your home to the village or even longer. But Jesus carried the cross. And as he was carrying the cross, they kept mocking him and making fun of him. What does mocking mean, children? That is true. Mocking means making fun of people. They kept pushing his head and telling him, ah, you kept telling us you're the king of the Jews. Show that again. They kept telling him, you gave Bartimaeus new eyes. Give us new eyes. They kept telling him, you made the lamb walk. Save yourself. And they push him. They kick him. And they push him in the bushes. But Jesus had remained carrying the cross. And he remained brave children. It was so, I can't even imagine. Children, me, I can't carry a sack of charcoal. I can't even carry a 20 liter jerry can. But Jesus carried a big cross because he loves us and God loves us so much. That wasn't the end of him having a bad day. Surely Jesus was having a bad day. But because God loves us, he let Jesus be brave and have a bad day for us to enjoy God's love. And that wasn't all children. They went ahead and nailed him on the cross. Children, it was such a shameful death. Can you imagine they took off Jesus' clothes and they stripped him naked? Can you come out of home naked? Can you come out of your house and you go to the playground naked? Who don't think that you're mad? Okay? But Jesus, his clothes, even, they didn't even tell him, take off your clothes. They tore the clothes off his body. They ripped them off and they put him on the cross. And they got a very big nail and they put in his hands and blood kept pouring. Then they got his legs, put them together and they nailed him in the cross again. Then they lifted him up and stretched him out. Okay, and he died a very painful death. He stayed there the whole afternoon and towards evening, Jesus breathed his last and he said, it is finished. And Jesus died 
because he loves us. And when Jesus died, children, when Jesus showed such bravery, first to, first to be reconciled back to God, we were able to get access to the Father. When you read in the Bible, children, the Bible says that the curtain in the temple tore from top to bottom, giving us access to God. Because in the Old Testament, one had to go to the priest to offer sacrifices. But when Jesus died, we got direct access to God. And now, children, we are able to enjoy God's love. We are able to celebrate because Jesus paid the price. But how can you enjoy this gift? By accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Anyone wants to enjoy God's love with me? I see you, love. Put up your hand. Be brave. And we accept Jesus. Close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for loving me. Forgive me for all my sins. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Today, I confess that I'm born again. Write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. And all God's children say, Amen. Thank you for connecting me, uh, with me today. I love you very much. See you next Sunday. Bye! Yay! Welcome back from that lesson. Indeed, we learned that Jesus had to be brave. Jesus had to trust God, that God will enable him to go through the pain, to go through the mockery and everything that happened to him. Now we are going to memorize a verse together. And this verse is from the book of Luke, chapter 22, verse 42. And it says, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. That was the prayer Jesus had to make. He said it to God because it was going to be a very hard moment for him. And so even now we are going to repeat the memory verse together. Children, are you ready? Are you ready to repeat the verse together? All right, so let's say it together. Luke 22, 42. It says, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Children, come on your welcome. Wherever you are, just join us as we sing this song together. Do you believe that Christ is enough for you? Now together we are going to sing that Christ, you are enough for us. That everything we will ever need is in you, Jesus, because he is more than enough. So are you ready to sing with us this song? Come on, are you ready? Okay, so as we sing that Christ, you are enough, just mean it from your heart. You ready? Come on, let's sing it together.
and we say that I'm not stealing anymore. I'm not lying anymore. I'm not going to beat up my friends anymore. So we decide to follow Jesus for the rest of our lives. And as we declare these words, come on, sing them together with us. I have decided. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have Yes. 